Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy. Doxing. It's something that every person on the internet, every person with any level amount of fame or clout or however you like to describe it has to deal with and has to be shuddering in anxiety with every single waking day. And I am definitely no exception. I have gotten very close to getting doxed by other people, also accidentally doxing myself, which is definitely not a good move. But it's especially sucky when uh, someone, some random person, someone who is a fan of you accidentally doxes your information without even trying to be malicious. And that's exactly what happened the other day at uh, a major Japanese gas station where one of the employees accidentally doxed Hideaki Anno. That's right, the Anno Hideaki, the creator of legendary anime series Neon Genesis Evangelion and director of all of the Tokusatsu reboots that have been happening, Shin Ultraman, Shin Godzilla, Shin Kamen Rider, probably one of the most recognizable figures in the anime industry. Got accidentally talked by a fan who was working at a gas station and, and, and the circumstances are, in my opinion, quite hilarious. Gas stations can be a rather uneventful place most of the time, so when a legend of anime walks into one, you can usually forgive the staff for getting worked up. I mean, yeah, I would have shit my pants if someone like Anu Hideaki rocked up to my vicinity unwarranted as well. But that's still no excuse for them to forget the most important parts of their job, such as not revealing a customer's personal information to the entire world. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happened late in the evening of the 5th of June, when the creator of Evangelion, uh, Anu Hideaki, went to fill up his tank. The clerk working behind the counter spotted who thought was Anu at the pump. His suspicions were apparently confirmed when the customer signed his credit card receipt as Hideaki Anno. So no doubt uh, th that that was Anno. And I mean, you know, Anno's been in a lot of interviews. He's been on TV a bunch of times. He's been in like some TV ads like this uh, beer commercial right here. He has a very recognizable face, probably one of the most recognizable faces in the anime industry, maybe after people like Hayao Miyazaki. The clock was so jazzed up by this encounter that he immediately took a photo of the receipt with Anno's signature and posted it to Twitter, along with the caption to the effect of, OMG, Hideaki Anno came to my part-time job. The clerk also explained the make of the car he was driving, which is already like a, a weird thing to do or say. I mean, why, first of all, why would you ever post that kind of stuff? Like, why would you give that kind of like information online? I mean, sure, you know, you might think like, oh, well, I didn't actually like dox his address or, you know, dox his like fucking family members or distant relatives or whatever, but doxing can come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, uh, like this one, for instance. And like, what, what was the point of him explaining the make of the car? Like, you know that like, if people figure out like even the make of the car that you were driving, then it's easier to identify the exact car, right? So clearly this guy was just so worked up in his feelings that he just forgot the basics of that. This was especially problematic because in addition to the signature, the receipt also detailed how much Arno paid during the visit, the type of credit card he used, the last four digits of his card, the payment approval code, and even the number of T points awarded for his purchase, along with Arno's total number of points, which according to some people who saw the photo is quite Quite staggering. I mean, look, uh, the whole T points thing aside, which is basically like a rewards point program in Japan that a lot of people use. Um, I don't use it because I don't really give a fuck about the points, but like, <laughs> He, he definitely should have just like calmed down a little bit, you know, calm down a little bit before deciding uh, to take a photo of a piece of paper that has a whole lot of very, very private information of someone who is very, very powerful in the anime industry. <laughs> the fact that this guy doxed Arno Hideaki's credit card is fucking wild to me. Like that is actually insane. Like that, like, look, I mean, sure, it's, it's probably like, there's probably no harm done to, uh, Oh, no, in terms of like, you know, maybe getting his like card taken or, you know, like uh, all that kind of stuff. Because again, it is only the last four digits of the card. And, you know, only a fucking super hacker would be able to figure out the exact digits of Arno's card just from the four last four digits alone. Like even the best quantum computer would take years to figure that shit out. But still, it's it's not something that you should be like going up to people and being like, look, check out, check out, my, check out the last four digits of my credit card, bro. Isn't that sick? Especially from someone who is just like a rando, just, just a regular like part-time employee at the gas station you just happen to fill up at. It's a pretty shitty feeling. I mean, if I was Arno, I'd be pretty fucking pissed off if someone did that to me. Oddly enough, the one piece of information missing from the photo was the name of the gas station. However, people were able to deduce that it was the major chain Ineos because it was the only one that offers tea points. God damn it. This, this fucking employer just did 
everything wrong. Literally everything wrong as a fan. There's just you are you are the, the the worst type of fan to have. Enels issued a public apology for allowing a customer's personal info to be leaked and reaffirmed the company's commitment to protecting privacy with a promise that measures will be taken to prevent it from happening again. So my question is, okay, for one, Enels the company had to fucking wipe this kid's ass uh, for doing something fucked up. But like, did the kid like? get punishment i don't think it says in this article if like the kid got like got a little slap on the wrist potentially fired maybe because again like this this kind of stuff can be pretty heavily dealt especially if the official company you're doing a part-time job for had to make a public apology for this shit like dog if i was that employee i would be shitting my pants and looking for the next job because i'm probably gonna get booted after his initial post the clerk followed up by insisting that he wasn't lying or mistaken about meeting anna yeah no shit I mean, you basically dox the dude. We get it. You met Anna Hideaki at a gas station. No, no one is like questioning that aspect of this post. No one is questioning the, the, the legitimacy of, oh, was it really Anna Hideaki? Because I mean, with the information that you have shown us publicly, all of his fucking private information. Yeah, we know. We know it was Anna, bro. There's no denying that. We're not, we're not questioning that. We're questioning your morals as to you posting that kind of private information. In response, many other Twitter users advised him to delete the post containing private information regardless of who it belonged to at about 2 p.m on june the 6th so the following day the clerk appeared to have complied and not only deleted the tweet but his entire account in the aftermath twitter users continued to discuss the incident and while pretty much everyone condemned it many were sympathetic to the clerk saying such as working at a gas station is really hazardous i'm not sure someone so careless should be there anna's got an impressive number of t points <laughs> <laughs> Which is like the most who the fuck asked type of information you could you could think of. This is why we need more personal information security education. I agree with that. Honestly, I noticed the ridiculous number of T points before I even saw the signature. I understand feeling excited, but you just can't do that. Which is probably a, a sentiment I agree with the most. You know, like I understand, you know, I've been in situations like that where I've met someone who I'm a massive fan of, uh, and you know, that I've just get tunnel vision into being like, holy fuck, this is someone that I've admired and loved everything from uh, and I don't know how to think straight, your brain just turns to mush. I get that. I totally get that feeling. But, you know, you're at work, bro. And you have to understand that more than anything, you got to you got to you got to comply with that shit. You got to comply with the basic morals before you go all fanboy mode on uh, people like that. Not everyone was sympathetic, though. And some comments went as far as calling the clerk a baito terrorist. Baito uh, being short for arubaito, which is the Japanese word for part time job, uh, a term that predates the currently prevalent sushi terrorism, uh, which I'm, I'm glad that Japan today is uh, using that term because I just made a video on that on this uh, channel. So I'll leave that up in the card or the description below so go check that out which is a term for disgusting or otherwise wrongful acts committed on publicly accessible items in a restaurant however baito is the japanese word for part-time explaining that baito terrorism is committed by staff rather than customers i mean i'd say that's a little bit of an over exaggeration you know I, I i wouldn't call him like committing terrorism like that's that's just japan overreacting over shit like it's it's not again it's not like he like doxed his like address and his like bank details oh, i mean i guess he doxed his credit card so that's that's close enough but still it like it could have been a lot 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 worse right i mean not saying that i'm for the clerk or you know I'm, I'm like protecting the clerk or on his side or anything um i just think that i think for what he did it probably was the most calmest uh method of getting doxxed I guess, uh, you know, there are definitely some worse ways that you can get doxxed. And if Twitch streamers getting swatted has proven us anything, there can always be worse. But based on the evidence at hand, it does seem like the clerk was just a really big fan who was simply too excited to think things through properly. Unfortunately, these kinds of overreactions still make it harder for high profile people like Arno to do even basic things like get gas. And I think that's like what the conclusion would be for this story is that like, I just feel bad for Arno, bro. Like this dude just wanted to like fill up his car. He's probably going for a drive somewhere, you know, just taking some time off making anime directing movies and was just like you know what i'm just like trying to drive to work i'm trying to drive to the studio i'm trying to drive back to my family that i haven't seen in 10 years because i've been making this goddamn movie and i just need to go do some mundane shit that every other living human uh does which is to just get gas for the car and he can't even do that without getting doxxed because of a crazy fan like i think out of everything i feel bad for arno the most out of all of this so um you know hopefully 
Cardano uh, is chill with it. Hopefully he's just like, hey, you know what? Just just don't do that shit again and we're chill. Um, I don't know what Arno is like personally. He could be the most like savage fucking motherfucker and just being like, yo ass getting sued. But like, I don't think he'd do that. I don't even think he was aware that this was happening. I don't really see Arno Hideaki being the type of person to like fucking look up his name on Twitter every day to see what kind of tomfoolery his fans are up to next. So yeah, that was just a funny little story. And I guess a little PSA to be like, uh, you know, don't don't dox the people who you admire because that is the one way you will be hated by the person you admire the most. And look, again, I think out of everything, this was probably the most like, you know, calm, uh, sta not standard really, but I guess the most like happy ending to a doxing situation. Like when I first saw the, the title of this uh, article and uh, you probably thought the title of this video as well, you probably thought like, oh my God, Anna Hideaki's address just got doxed. Luckily it wasn't that big of a deal. I think his credit card and his uh, colossal amount of T-points is safe. Um, I don't think anyone is out here to fucking steal all of Arno's money. So I think in, in, in all, it ended calmly, the storm has passed, and uh, we can all just kind of collectively like chuckle at just uh, how crazy Anno Hideaki fans can get. And also, if you're someone of any influence, uh, just, just watch out, you know, because you never know when you might be doxxed next. I'm telling that to myself more than anything. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this story, and thanks for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep making big channel number go bigger over here next to my head. Couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one, and links to my social media as well as my patreon to support me directly and my youtube shorts and tiktok page down in the description below and i will see you all in the next one peace